Yo, what's up guys? It's Rose Moulet and I just watched the new Sarah Z video where she essentially basically tries to say that debates are bad and that you shouldn't have them. Our society places a lot of value on free and public debate. This idealized concept of a democratic and facts-based approach to policy founded upon healthy discussion is the same idea upon which many people now base their ideas of public discourse. Most of what we currently consider debating probably shouldn't be happening in its present form. So wait, wait, if you're saying that we shouldn't be having fact-based debates to determine what our policy should should be, then please tell me how we should be doing this. I think there are often better ways to critically engage with these ideas than the public debate format. What's the alternative? Debates are essential. If you have people who disagree with each other, you need to have that conversation. The harms of debating this guy still would have outweighed the positives. For one, it would give him an unnecessary platform to further make claims that attack certain groups. If you take away the ability to conversate with people you don't agree with, you're not gonna get rid of their opinions. They're not gonna go away. But it's very naive to say that if we just ignore ideas that we don't like, that they're just gonna vanish because that's not how things work. When an idea is gaining momentum, whether or not you necessarily agree with it, you have to confront those things. Because she uses Ben Shapiro as a main example here. I think Ben Shapiro is a really great example of why sounding rhetorically smooth in a debate does not necessarily equal strong arguments. The top results are, with a couple exceptions, almost exclusively him A, debating random university students and not other journalists with a similar level of prestige. This is just a blatant lie. When I search for Ben Shapiro on YouTube, I get results from the BBC, Guardian News, Fox News, ABC News. All of these results are him on professional news stations. And some of the examples you use literally have hundreds of views. I refuse to believe that those are the top results. Personally, what it seems like is you went out of your way to provide a narrative and that's very intellectually dishonest of you. If you wanted to make a point on how these videos are getting attention, go ahead and do so, but don't lie about search results. Throughout this video, he makes a lot of bad points that get cheers mostly because they sound like quick snappy zingers, not because they're well thought out arguments. And if I call you a moose, are you suddenly a moose? Okay, if I redefine our terms. <laughs> No, it's a, yes, that's right. Men and women are a completely different thing. This is true. Have you ever met a man or a woman? They're completely different. This moment in particular strikes me as really disingenuous because surely Ben Shapiro and his audience know that when she says that's completely different, she wasn't talking about the difference between men and women. She was talking about the difference between being transgender and identifying as a moose. I think you're taking a lot of like Ben Shapiro's videos too seriously. It's funny how you seem to be so against Ben Shapiro, but there's a lot of people on the left who make poor arguments. We didn't lock people up in cages. We didn't separate families. The way debates are considered by many people to be this ultimate ultimate determiner of someone's objective correctness is a little concerning to me. But, but nobody sees it that way. A lot of people who watch these kind of debate videos, it's very casual. Nobody's gonna say that the person who lost the debate, you know, that means their ideology is absolutely wrong and I'll never listen to it again. Most of the people who watch these kind of videos already believe the things that he's saying. And anyone on the left who does watch a Ben Shapiro video isn't going to walk out of that video thinking, wow, someone who agreed with me just got owned. I guess I'm a conservative now. People don't think that way. Could it skew someone on the center? Sure, but I'm sure there are people on the center who are being skewed to the democratic debates. But yet I assume that you wouldn't have any problem with that because they're preaching the right thing. Even when the right side comes out on top, it doesn't necessarily translate to the changing of hearts and minds that we want it to. Conservatives are allowed to debate too. The harms of debating this guy, it would give him an unnecessary platform. If someone like Ben Shapiro is so bad at debates, you shouldn't be saying, don't debate Ben Shapiro, don't give him attention. His arguments are inconsistent and aren't particularly strong. If you're so confident in your ability to win in your debates against him, then by all means, make him look bad. If it makes you look good because you, you really can only get so far with bad ideas. I'd also like to clarify that I do support varied discussion with people I don't agree with. If I know someone is acting in good faith and trust them to be as respectful as I'll be, I'm usually happy to sit down and have a conversation with them. Okay, so you say all of this, but you're still putting parameters by saying, I'm allowing people who I don't agree with to have debates with me as long as I agree that it's a debate worth having. So you're essentially still choosing which topics you do or don't want to give platforms to. I believe that any topic that is gaining considerable momentum is worth debating over. If it gets big enough, people are going to tell that you're purposely ignoring it and they're not gonna like it. Look, there, there's a lot more I could go over in this video, but I wanted to keep it pretty brief. These are just some of the issues I had with her video. Um, let me know what you guys thought. I support free speech and I support different opinions. So if you disagreed with this video, let me know why. So as Millet, see you guys next time. Morning very sad.
Why don't I have 1 million subs yet? This isn't fair give me subs. If you wanted sandwiches you could have just asked. Or you could subscribe to Rose Moulet's channel. I think I'll take the sandwiches.